Hello and welcome! Yesterday, the European currency and the British pound weakened significantly against the US dollar. The risky assets were weighing down by a number of factors, including brewing geopolitical tensions, sanctions against Russia and Belarus, as well as an economic slowdown in Europe amid high inflation. Although services activity in the euro area expanded in March, the euro remained under pressure. The lack of major progress in negotiations between Russia and Ukraine damped demand for risky assets, thus resulting in a stronger dollar. British services companies also enjoyed stronger growth last month than first estimated. However, this report failed to support the pound sterling. The services sector activity across the United States saw another expansion in March, which contributed to a new rally in the US dollar. The statements of Fed members also confirmed the central bank's stance towards its monetary policy, tightening and further interest rate hikes. Today's macroeconomic calendar includes the speeches of ECB members as well as data on producer prices in the euro area for February. The index will hardly have a severe impact on market participants as producer prices are already at record heights on an annual basis. In the second half of the day, the US Federal Reserve will release minutes of its March meeting. Besides, Philadelphia Fed President Patrick Harker is set to speak today. Thus, the focus of market participants will be on the third meeting minutes if there are signs of even more aggressive approach to monetary policy tightening, the US dollar may extend gains against both the euro and the pound sterling. The euro dollar pair from a technical point of view. The levels of 1.0913 and 1.0940 act as resistance, while the marks of 1.0875 and 1.0843 serve as support. If the price breaks through and consolidates above 1.0913, a strong buy signal will be created. In this case, the euro dollar pair may enter an upward correction to 1.0940 and 1.0970. At these levels, it will be possible to open short positions on the rebound. However, the main trend is bearish, although the MACD signals oversold conditions. Given that, it will be a wise decision to go long at 1.0875 amid a false breakout or at 1.0843 on a rebound with a view to catching an intraday correction of 25-30 pips. A false breakout at 1.09 13 will create a sell signal and the pair will hurt for a test of 1.0875. If the price fixes below this level, the way to the marks of 1.0843 and then 1.0810 will open. Speaking of the British pound, bulls failed to take the lead near the upper boundary of the sideways channel. Thus, a return to 1.30 50 or 1.3060 may lead to another hefty sell off in the pound sterling, of course, if the price fixes below 1.3059 today. The best way to make a profit is to open short positions amid a false breakout at 1.3093. Fixation below 1.30. 59 and its bottom up test will register up pressure on the British currency. In this case, the pound sterling will slide further to 1.3030, 1.3001, one and 1.2960. At the levels of 1.3001 one and 1.2960, it will be possible to go long on a rebound, counting on a intraday correction of 25 30 pips. If the price fails to overcome to the lower boundary of the sideways channel at 1.3051 and forms a false breakout, bulls will have a chance of pushing the price up to 1.3093. Price consolidation about this mark will create an additional buy signal and the pound dollar pair will most likely rise to 1.3129 and 1.3163. 
At these levels, traders will be able to consider short positions on the rebound. Good luck.